Hey guys, what's up? Mad Season here, back with another video for you. With Classic coming out, I thought it would be appropriate to do another video in my Tips and Tricks series, this time exclusively for Classic. The game as a whole is much more unregulated compared to current, so there are a lot of nifty things that you can do to make your life a bit easier. First up, we have mob separating. Inevitably, you'll be questing or grinding, and you'll be faced with a group of enemies that you might not be able to solo. But luckily for Classic, you can separate any group of enemies. If you keep hitting just one, the others will eventually head back to their spot, as long as you don't hit them. Over the years, they've added hard limits to how far mobs can run, or they'll just stick on you like there's no tomorrow, but in Classic, you can use this little trick to whittle down large groups of enemies. There are also a ton of items that you can get at low level that are quite vital at level 60. One of them is the Hydro Cane, which gives you underwater breathing. You'll notice that your breath timer is much shorter in Classic compared to Current, and with some quests requiring you to do some spelunking, it can get pretty tight. This staff is a lifesaver, and because it's a weapon, you can simply switch to it when you're just about to run out of breath, and then switch back to your normal weapon, so it's not like you're sacrificing other stats really. It drops off of the Viscous Followed boss in Nomura Gun, which is a level 30-ish dungeon. The fastest way to farm him is to drop down right here on this giant gear, and he'll be patrolling around this room. The staff itself has around a 30% drop rate, so it's not too bad. Weapon skills are a thing in Classic. Each weapon has a skill attached to it that you need to level up, or else your enemies will just parry you over and over. It can be pretty time consuming, especially if you're a warrior or something, and you have so many weapon types to level. Well, tip one is that the intellect stat actually increases the speed at which you level your weapons. A lot of people forget about that, but the real tip lies in the Badlands. In this zone, there are these servant mobs, and these are actually part of a quest. At low health, they become target dummies basically, and you're supposed to use a quest item to finish them off. And it was actually common back then for hunters to drag these mobs to Ironforge just to troll people. However, you can use your immortality to level your weapon skills really efficiently. Just get them low, and go AFK while auto-attacking, and come back to 300 weapon skill. Another essential item is the Jungle Remedy. On use, it cures diseases and neutralizes poisons. In the current game, there would be some text saying that this is ineffective on diseases and poisons past a certain level, but again, with how unregulated Classic is, this is still 100% potent even at level 60. It drops off of the Curzon Witch Doctors, Medicine Men, and Head Shrinkers located in the Northern Stranglethorn Vale at about a 30% drop rate, and they'll be extremely vital for PvP. Crippling Poison, Viper Sting, Serpent Sting into a Vanish if you're a rogue, and even in PvE, there are some really harsh diseases that this thing can cleanse. I remember on my Paladin, if I was in Ironforge, people all the time would ask me to cleanse some random disease that they had, because they could last up to an hour back then. For any warlocks out there, you'll find that soul shards are of course present in Classic. You get these by draining the soul of an enemy when they die, and they're needed for various spells such as your soul stone, your health stone, summon, and even damaging spells such as shadow burn and soul fire. They can be troublesome to farm, as you only get them from appropriate level enemies, which at level 60 limits your options. One of the best spots in the game though can be found at the Raven Hill Cemetery in Western Duskwood. If you use your Detect Invisibility spell, you'll see a bunch of high level ghosts wandering about, and they make for a really quick soul shard farm. They're close to the Zulga Rub Raid, and also the Blackrock Mountain, which of course holds the Molten Core and Blackwing Lair, so it's a convenient location as well. And one last thing to say is that for any alliance out there, the fastest way to get there isn't through Darkshire, but rather just going east from the Sentinel Hill. And another item that can be really handy is Dartal's Rod of Transformation, which for the most part is a vanity item. It turns you into a fur bulk for a few minutes until you get hit, at which point the effect will dissipate, but it's really useful for mind games. As you can see, you get glowy hands whenever you cast it, so paladins and priests can often bait out interrupts by using this without fear of being locked out. Trust me, it does work. Not everyone has a cast bar add-on. Look, I'm telling you guys, the big vanilla brain, okay? It is alliance only, and you can get it from a quest chain called Rain's Cleansing that starts from the NPC Rain Wolf Runner, located right here in the Ashenvale zone. Just make sure that you stop at the part where you get the rod, or else you'll lose it, of course. And here's another oldie, but a goodie. If you finish a dungeon run, and you find yourself without your hearthstone up, 
you can implement what is known as a ghetto hearth maneuver. If you leave group, after 60 seconds you'll be teleported to your hearth location, and if you're the leader and you still want to do this, simply make someone else lead before leaving and it should still work. And for any fishers out there, in Classic, there exists two seasonal fish. The winter squid, which can only be caught between the dates of September 23rd to March 19th, and the summer bass, which you can get from March 20th to September 22nd. The winter squid is the more sought after one, since it's used for the grilled squid consumable, which is the best agility food, and the bass is used for spirit, which is still handy, mainly for priests who want to save some gold, because there are some better options for spirit food. So for gold making, if nothing else, make sure that you pay attention to when these are on and off season, and you can make some extra gold by selling off season fish. Classic launches on August 27th, so you'll have less than a month to catch the summer bass, and once the 23rd of September rolls around, it'll be unavailable for 6 months, which may be an opportunity to score some easy gold. And next, we have another useful item, and that's the magic dust. This puts an enemy to sleep for up to 30 seconds, and any damage caused will awaken the target, and only one at a time. Once again, another item that's fully usable even on level 60 enemies. Basically a free CC for any class. You get it from the Dust Devils patrolling around Westfall, so a bit easier to farm for Alliance players, and it's going to be a must for PvE and PvP. It drops at a 50% rate, which isn't bad at all. And lastly, we have a tip for any Alliance players out there. In the Hillsbrat Foothill Zone, the Horde have a quest to summon an undead necromancer named Helkular. It's a bit dangerous for them, as they have to go to the South Shore Graveyard, but in return, he'll terrorize the low-level quest hub for a short while. He's a level 44 elite, and what's special about him is that he always drops a green item guaranteed. As a result, he's really lucrative for gold farming, especially during the launch of the game, as there will be plenty of horde going through the quest to summon him, so you can just camp his spawn if you want some easy gold. But that's about it. I do have more, but I think 10 per video is a good point to stop. I'm sure some of you experts out there knew about some of this stuff, but like with most of my guides, these are mainly aimed towards beginners, so hopefully it helped someone out there. I'll try to get working on the next part pretty soon. I hope that you found the video helpful, like it if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Farewell for now, mortals. We hope you enjoyed today's video. See you again soon.